Hello friend and welcome to a tutorial where I show you how to add lace it to your avatar for VR chat. All right, so first you start with obviously adding in files into the uh, into the uh, Unity project. Go into wherever you keep your uh, VR chat SDK. Scroll down and the SDK first. That is very important that you add the SDK into your project so that it does not break because, um, you know, obviously it has the very likely potential to break if you don't um, import the SDK first before anything else. Then once you have your SDK installed, I feel like one of the better things to do is just go and log into the SDK. Okay, now once you are logged into your SDK, go ahead and grab all of the shaders that you're going to be using. For me, all of those are inside of a preload that I've already made for this, so... It's very easy for me to, um for me to get all of the shaders that I need all at once. Now typically the preload is one of the biggest files. I do this so I don't have to individually drag in each file, which I feel helps a little bit, somewhat. Okay, then we just want to check on which packages we want in here. Um, for starters, we do want the lay sit. Basically, since the VRChat SDK has already been imported, what we're going to do is we're just going to import the Pyomi shaders, dynamic bone, the lay sit, and the relative DPS system. <clears throat> Although, saying DPS and DPS system, system is redundant because the S and DPS stands for system. basically import all the things. It's going to take a while because by all me, it takes a while. Okay, now that all this is installed, um, take any avatar that you want. I'm going to be doing something that's a little bit more difficult to um, get Lace at working on, uh, purely because of... purely because of the way... Um, <laughs> This one works. Um, this one. Then you just import it. Yeah, the um, the URI is a little bit harder to get working, especially the DPS one because it doesn't have as many memory slots as other avatars. Like the regular URI that doesn't have DPS, that one. Um. You can add lace it on pretty easily. You basically need a um, certain number of items to be free from inside of the memory controller for the avatar. So when you do that, when you make the uh, memory controller like when you make enough room in the memory controller, it allows you to add lace it. Okay, now that you have um, your avatar installed into the Unity project, what you do, obviously open up the avatar avatars that you want. And we're going to be, um, this time, instead of using this one, we are going to be using dun, da, 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 the regular URI DPS. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the laydown, uh, sit laydown folder. It should bring up a thing like this. And you basically follow the instructions of what it says and how to add this to the thing. So 
um, come down here to the parameters list. Now you'll see that the parameters list says it's 124 out of 128. I found that the best way to um, do this on um, what you might call it on this one. Spring joint D, spring joint S. So joint. So um, the best way that I found to do this is um, getting rid of these three floats right here. Getting, getting rid of these three, or yeah, gives you enough room, or these four, sorry, yeah, if you get rid of these four, you get plenty of room to add back lace it, which requires four, so you want to add four parameters down at the end. Uh, I said four, not, not three. And then um, this one is going to be <sighs> sitting anim, and make sure you spell it right, which is going to be an integer that is left zero and not checked. This one, which is pose space. Which is a boolean that is left to be unchecked. And it is recommended that you have it saved. Um, next one is play space. Which is a float. Which zero. And if you want to have your play space saved, you should check that if you don't want your um, sitting position saved between, like, say, worlds. Like, if you're in a sitting position when you're in a world and you go to a different world, you will keep that same sitting position, which means that if you want to move from the spawn, you'll have to uncheck it. Typically, I think I leave that one unchecked so that it doesn't set that. And then um, the last one... It's going to be reset pose and then have that as a boolean unchecked and not checked at the end okay so then what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the um yuri's main menu and you're going to go um not skin tones uh you're going to want to go to the extras menu and Instead of throat settings, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to delete this. Since we have no use for the throw settings, then we're going to go to the animations um, thing. And this is where we're going to stick lace it because it's a bunch of animations. Funny how that works. Okay, call this one lay slash sit. Change it from a button to a submenu. Change the submenu to submenu um, lay down. Um, yeah. And this should be all that you need realistically for this. And reset. I define that parameter, you goon. Oh, I didn't define it correctly. Yeah, see, that's an issue that you can run into, is if you do not spell it 100% correctly, you'll get crap like that. Anywho, what you do, obviously, build and publish for Windows. Click OK. That's just going to say, hey, lock the materials. I'm done messing with it. Yeah, so basically, adding lace it involves adding these um, four parameters. And then obviously, if you want to make it quest compatible, you can check out my tutorial on how to make an avatar quest compatible. Go ahead and watch that video. It'll be linked at the end as well.
And so, yeah. So, this is basically all you need for lace it. It's super easy to add on to most avatars. And the fact of the matter that it's, um, that you can just sort of stick it under the animations makes it really easy to have a nice, um, have a nice uh, little treat that you get. And you can, it's, it's sort of like having the benefits of a full body because you can basically s pose somewhat to what your body's doing in real life without having to actually buy any of the trackers or anything like that. And since Lace It is free on VRC Arena, it's a, it's a nice asset to just add into your arsenal of free Unity things that you can add onto avatars. Okay, then obviously what you do Yep. Okay, and upload your avatar. And it'll have lace it. Now, one thing that I feel like needs to be done is I feel like I need to demonstrate that lace it is indeed working on this avatar. So I will see you over in VR. So one thing that I almost forgot to do, and then when I got into game, I... Uh, messed up on was I forgot to change this action layer which is also listed as one of the steps that you have to do inside of the uh, inside of the thing you have to change the action layer on the thing either from where it says default which will be um, the default um, uh, action controller or action layer and then you have to change it to action layer lay down pose multiple that is what causes it to work, and I'm also going to um, build and publish for Windows. But yes, if you don't do that step, it will um, make it so that you can't actually um, you can't actually properly use Lace It. So just wanted to put that in there before we actually hop onto VR Chat and show you that it's all working. So as you can see, with us being in VR chat, of course, um, since it since I don't have a hip tracker enabled, right? We just go to extras, uh, animations, lace it, and watch the magic happen. We can also do a height adjustment. Obviously, since we're on PC, we can move around and stuff, but the play space uh, works for Quest as well. And we can do like a lay side right VR if we're just, you know, chilling out, laying down, chilling back. Um, then what you can do is um, do like a sit idle, which will be facing front. Now the uh, the one thing that does kind of suck a little bit about um, lace it is obviously if you have different gestures on like your avatar, like the Yuri's standard gesture when you do the rock and roll, it is actually supposed to be a middle finger. And so in order to fix that, I will show you how to change gestures in the next video. And also how to change gestures for lace it specifically, because those are the ones that you're going to be wanting to change more likely. So uh, thanks for watching. You know, if you found this informational, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.